Hey guys, welcome back to the checkpoint for another No Man's Sky video. Here's a question for you. Despite the fact that No Man's Sky is one of the most hyped up titles of our generation, will it get you bored? It's a scary thought, but it's entirely possible with 18 quintillion planets, endless space flying and all sorts of other massive technicalities. It's viable that after a while you might find yourself a little bored, and if you're slightly afraid of this, before launch, which in all honesty a lot of us including myself will be, I'm here today to give you my two cents on being bored in No Man's Sky. So first let's talk about the reasons why you might get bored. At its core, No Man's Sky is an exploration game, there's no doubt about it. You walk, you walk, you fly, you walk, you swim, you walk and you walk. All in the name of exploration and discovery. Now traditionally, we humans, or at least in the UK, or at least around the area I live, have a tendency to get a little bored when moving around too much. Heck, I get bored walking to university, walking dogs, walking anywhere really, so to have that in video game form might translate some of those feelings over to the game itself. Secondly, you might get a bit bored due to the mechanics of the game. Of course, exploration games typically involve being nomadic and moving from spot to spot without staying in the same place too long, so there are no base building mechanics in the game. This might bore some players as they feel as if they are making no progress as a player, and they can't tangibly see where all their mining and resource gathering is going. And finally, the game just isn't for some people. I love games like the Witcher series, Grand Theft Auto, the Elder Scrolls and more just for exploring every nook and cranny in the game without really acknowledging certain gameplay elements. So what I mean by this is like, I played all of Skyrim mainly without using the fast travel, just to explore the world and just see what's out there. You know, the developers have put all this time into making such a vast game world, so I feel to use fast travel would be a bit horrible really, to just not look at the game itself and the game world. And those parts of the game where I didn't use fast travel, are some of the most memorable I took from that game. I'll always remember this one moment, I can't remember where exactly in Skyrim it was, but there was a fallen log across a sort of ravine, and across the log was a werewolf, and it was just... That whole scenario, that emergent gameplay was made for the setting, it was made for that particular area with the fallen log and the werewolf. That battle was meant to take place there, because there was no real, there was no real exit, there was no real escape route from the werewolf. You had to go back across the log, and it was just... A really memorable moment for me. However, some people will be dedicated to using the fast travel relentlessly, and that's absolutely fine. It just goes to show the different styles of play that everyone has, which will connect to how many people want to play No Man's Sky. Some will write it off completely because there just aren't enough things to shoot, and some people will love the fact that you can play the game completely in pacifist mode. It completely depends on your style of play and what you're used to playing. A casual gamer who just plays FIFA on the weekends with his mates is not going to find the same enjoyment out of No Man's Sky as someone like me who loves open world titles. So now let's talk about the reasons why you won't get bored. First of all, there's a bunch of different parts of the game which lend themselves to traditional gameplay mechanics. So obviously there's exploration which you'll find similarly in open world titles, but there's also space combat, mining, crafting, the ability to learn new languages, and a goal of reaching the centre of the universe. So there's a bunch of different ways in which you can play the game. In fact, I saw a video from Kind of Funny Games who have had the opportunity to play No Man's Sky early, lucky them, in which they said you can mine materials in one solar system where the prices for that particular mineral might be quite low, fly to another system and sell it for an inflated price just because the mineral, minimal, mineral is much more rare there. So there's lots of instances where you can really carve your own path to the center of the universe or whatever your goal is. You could be an explorer, a spaceship flyer, you know, join a faction, uh, be a trader. There's so many opportunities for different styles of gameplay that you're sure to find something for you within the game. Secondly, the universe of No Man's Sky is coded in such a way that the closer you get towards the center, the stranger everything will become. Now, what I mean by this is that planets will become more you know, more and more weird, creatures will become more and more deformed, so you will see variety over time in heading towards the center of the universe, which will keep everything interesting and unique. The planets are so beautiful and vibrant that just standing around and taking everything in will be an experience in itself. So if they get stranger, the closer you get, the closer you get to your goal, then it's going to make for some really cool gameplay memories, really. 
And finally, there's a lot of fun to be had if you're already a fan of the style of game that No Man's Sky is going for. It's a very unique game, but it draws influence from films like Star Wars, old graphic novels and more, so if you're already a fan of retro space stuff or even modern space movies and science, then you're going to have a whale of a time with No Man's Sky. So there are a couple of reasons why or why not you might get bored of No Man's Sky. In my opinion, the game is exactly my type of game, so I'm very excited for it, but there is a lot of trepidation in my mind on the longevity of the game. I don't think I'll get bored, but I can definitely see how someone could get bored in the game. But what do you think? Are you expecting to be bored by No Man's Sky? Let me know down below, and for more content like this, make sure you subscribe. But for now, this has been Steve, that's been No Man's Sky. Checkpoint complete.